All right. How's it going? This is Justin from Justin's HIV Journal. And I actually have another entry. This is about Mr. Magic Johnson. Mr. Magic Johnson was actually um, infected with the HIV virus and he came became public with it in 1991. He actually retired very quickly after admitting um, publicly that he was infected with the HIV virus. Now, there are several people out there that um, did not believe him. They also said that, oh, I can't believe, you know, Magic Johnson, you know, how could he be HIV positive? You know, this, this big time NBA basketball player. But he is HIV positive. And actually a co-worker, uh, sorry, a friend of mine, um, Jason, he has a lot of coworkers, and he got into a debate about how Magic Johnson is still HIV positive. A lot of people that he worked with kind of came to him and said, oh, Magic Johnson, he's been cured of HIV. No. He has not been cured of HIV. Magic Johnson still is HIV positive to this day. This day, April 15th. 2011 still HIV positive the only way that people would think that is because oh he's so healthy he's not dead yet a lot of people have that in their heads that HIV is still that 1980s 1990s death sentence yes he did he was public in 1991 his very early 90s and a lot of the new drugs that we have now were not out but you have to understand that Magic Johnson is well off He's comfortable, so then therefore it's kind of it's kind of easier for him to take care of himself, um, unlike some of us, you know, that have a nine to five, and you know that, like me, I have a nine to five and I make you know, four five figures. Um, so, you know, a lot of us that you know most the majority of us have, make five figures in this country, and you know we you know we barely enough had. Um, have enough to pay for HIV meds, to pay for the food that it takes to, for us to um, live um, healthily, healthily, and um, healthy, excuse me. And um, so, it, so you have to understand that him still being alive does not mean that HIV is out of his system. Magic Johnson still has HIV. He is still HIV positive. And what what I have observed with this controversy is that a lot of people, a lot, it's, it's a lot of the black population, um, a lot of us think that he is HIV negative now because, you know, he had, he's obviously been cured because he's still alive. That is not the case. You have to get that out of your heads because what that does is it gives you an excuse to actually go out and have unprotected sex and say, oh, well, Magic Johnson's got a cure, so if I get AIDS, you know, I'll be fine. You know, or if I get HIV, I'll be okay. No problem. I can do what Magic Johnson's doing. Not unless you're making Magic Johnson money, honey. I'm sorry, that is not going to work. So what you need to do is protect yourselves. And, you know, it just, it just... Also, he was just on a late night show, and he said nothing about HIV. Absolutely nothing. You know, um, he's got this new endorsement uh, from Dove um, Soap, and I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. But Magic Johnson, please, if you can hear my voice, if you can hear me, I just need you to say to the community, black, white, you know, Hispanic, Asian, gay, straight, whatever, bisexual, transgender, you know, you need to say that, hey, I still have HIV. I still, you need to make sure that people are reminded that you still have HIV because they're actually taking you looking so healthy and, you know, I'm not hating on you, but I'm just saying they're taking that as an excuse that there is a cure for HIV and obviously you have it and so they can go out and find get it themselves. What you need to say is, hey, I still have HIV and there's no written cure. There there was a there was a case in Berlin for a U.S. citizen who moved to Berlin um, who had leukemia and HIV. He had a bone marrow transplant, which um, which 
took away his leukemia and his HIV. But yet you have to understand that the bone marrow that he got was from somebody who was also resistant, who was resistant to the HIV virus. So that's how that worked. But also you have to understand that it's hard to find a match or a donor match if you have a bone marrow transplant. Me, I'm African-American, right? I'm a black American. And usually with black Americans, actually, it's, it's never happened ever. With Asian Americans or Asians, it's harder. It's hard. With Hispanics, it's hard. The only proof that they have is from a Anglo-Saxon white male. And because that seems to actually have, a, they seem to have a higher percentile of this bone marrow cure from able to be successful. So you have to understand that being African American, Asian, Hispanic, any, almost any minority, the chances of you getting this bone marrow transplant to cure your HIV is almost virtually impossible. You have to know that, and that is the truth, okay? We should live in the truth. Live in the now, live in the truth, whatever you wanna call it, just as long as you don't let your imagination get so hopeful that it's gonna get shot down. Um, this person is called the Berlin Patient. He's a 40-something year old white male, and he still, to this day, has no trace of HIV in his system. But yet you have to understand that genetics work a very important role in this process. A bone marrow transplant is also very tricky and it's very excruciating. So don't say that, oh, I can just go get a bone marrow transplant and that'll cure my HIV. No, there are a lot of things that go into this experiment that are considered. So I'm just letting you know, one, Magic Johnson is not cured of HIV. He is not. Two, there is no written on the books cure. They're still finding out more information from this guy called the Berlin Patient. You need, they're still finding more information, basically. So don't get your hopes up. I'm not trying to belittle science. I think that, you know, one day there will be a cure. One day there will be a cure. Maybe not in my life, um, maybe not in my life, and you know, I, I hate saying that, but hopefully there will be. Hopefully there will be.